Hi, so boom, what's going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTube, you just don't know yet. And we back with another performance test. Y'all have seen the montage. So let's get right into it. For the next trend G2s, with the predecessor being the G1s, we're here with another second coming, as you will, for the big debut of Next Trend's glove line. And you know, it was pretty big when they first came out because they're not your typical Nike, Under Armour, the big Adidas. They're not your typical big company gloves. They're Next Trend, you know, not really the underdog at this point, but you know, the under dog you know coming out swinging and with this second version of their highly popular gloves they are coming back with the same grip technology for the front of the palm being the next grip technology and coming with a new glove skin around the palm to come with a more skin tight feel compression all around compared to the G ones that kind of had the compression just around the fingers but with these changes are these gloves fire or are they not not fire next trend sent these gloves to me and when i had, we were talking about them and he said hey i'm gonna send you the xls and the double xls for those of you that know i'm an xl glove mostly because i got a big palm and i got like not my fingers don't fit my palm that i have and we'll get into that as the review goes on with the pros the next grip technology for the front of the palm that that stick is a staple it, you know they started off and it's one of those formulas if it ain't broke don't fix it another thing i would like to say with these gloves though is it's kind of is for some reason on the g2s the grip felt better and it was weird because you know it's the same grip when i was wearing them the palm stick itself was the same but i kept asking myself i said hey why does the grip feel better I don't get it. A glove's grip is only as good as the comfortability of the glove. Does that make sense? Pretty much saying a glove can have grip and not be comfortable, but very rarely do we get a comfortable glove with no grip. I really hope I'm making sense because bro, I got a script written down and everything and I'm trying to like say it, but it sounds crazier when I'm saying it out loud. If it doesn't make sense to segue into the next pro, it'll make more sense. The second pro is that these next trend gloves are fully equipped all the way around the hand with a skin tight compression. This compression feel around the whole glove brings a way better airflow and just the kind of that sleek AC unit that we talk about with the Invictus Armors 3.0s. With the two different size gloves that I got, I finished half of my workout with the XLs and I started the second half of the review with the double XLs. When I put the double XLs on, just an instant cool breeze just into my hands. That's kudos to the glove. That compression airflow, the reason why gloves are starting to come out with that is one, it fits more snug to your body, so better fit. But on top of that, when you have a good quality compression, it's gonna give you an airflow that doesn't come with cloth because cloth doesn't have the same air holes as compression does. And bringing up that comparison to the Armist 3.0s, I, I don't need to bring up how much I, the, the most comfortable glove is. Another pro here is the designs, the colorways is just mwah. You guys know how I feel about solid colorways. They have all white all black, all red, all green, all blue, and it's the color all the way through that just makes that, I'm a, I'm a simple person to please, man. And next trend, the colorways are fire. I just wanna let you guys know that. Moving on to the cons. This new gloves compression technology is a plus, but the sizing and the grip of it, or the overall feel, I guess, for the hand does need some improvement. As I said before, I got the XLs and the double XLs. I was told that the fitting of them is kind of in between, which could be a problem for some people. For myself, again, I have a bigger palm. When I wear, I can wear larges, I can wear XLs, not too many double XLs, but I was told that these gloves run a little bit smaller, so I can fit a double XL. So, with that being said, when I tried the XLs on, they were really snug on my palm. The fingers I felt okay but the palm was really tight putting on the double XLs the double XLs the issue with that is my fingers didn't fit all the way through so I'm kind of in that weird awkward in between size where the issue that I have here is do I want to have a super tight palm I guess the comfortable looser fitting glove but then that defeats the whole purpose of having the compression on in the first place so you guys may not have the same issue as me unless you guys have the same hand size as me but it's one of those things that I have to note it because it is something that I I noticed in my review. Another thing is the stitching did have some weak points. Um, when I was wearing the gloves, I didn't put them in the performance test because it's supposed to look all cool, but there were some stitching that were just exposed. Stitching exposure, I guess we can call it. And I can't not say that again. So what I noticed in my review, the stitching itself, most gloves have this. They, it doesn't mean it's a huge issue, but again, something to note nonetheless. These gloves kind of reminded me of like early 2000, 
I don't even know what year. Early 2000 whatever MCU. When we got that first Marvel movie, the the first Avenger, Captain America, you know, the GOAT. And that's, that's kind of like the G1s. And then do y'all remember what the second movie was to come out after that? Iron Man. So it was just these movies themselves weren't perfect but they served a larger purpose in the grand scheme of what we see now is the Marvel Universe. That's kind of what I look at these gloves like. You have that first, the G1. You have the second one, the G2s. And these movies, albeit not perfect, they're like, I'm going to be honest, they're not going to be the greatest gloves you've ever put on. But at the same time, they're improving and they're great in their own aspects. And they're going to grow into what I would assume is, you know, down the line, we're going to have the next trend G7s. And in the grand scheme of all of these gloves, we're going to get a beautiful masterpiece, like a beautiful Marvel Cinematic Universe. No pressure, next trend. Hey, look, you guys can see my invisible, or my, not invi my wisdom tool. You hear? That's why I haven't been recording for a few weeks, because my head been hurting, because I got a dry socket. But now we're, we're better now. With that being said, my biggest issue to, I guess, leave you guys with is just the sizing thing is it sucks to be between sizes and I understand the frustration when you get a glove that's too tight then you get another glove and the next size up is too big and they don't make half sizes for gloves and it's unfortunate, but pick and choose which glove you want to do and lay out the pros and cons of the tighter one and the looser one. And if you're growing, if you guys are playing youth ball and you guys are growing, get the size that's a little bit bigger because you're going to eventually grow into those extra minute details of what you aren't fitting in beginning of the year. But yeah, with that being said, I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. And if nobody's told you yet, I know the show grind. Keep up the hard work. It's going to pay off one day and I will catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.